Hi, I want to talk about Kyle Rittenhouse, the spree killer, and bought jurors. Now, the FBI would classify Kyle Rittenhouse as a spree killer. In other words, a person who kills all of a sudden for no particular reason, only because they have an opportunity. Now, he's also a serial killer because he's killed more than one. He's killed two. He's a serial killer. He's a mass shooter. So he's he fits all three of those definitions. Kyle Rittenhouse, he's, also, he's a spree killer, a mass shooter, and a serial killer all in one because he has characteristics of all three. Now, the original intent of Kyle Rittenhouse was to kill 15 or more blacks because it was a Black Lives Matter protest. That was his original intent. That's why he killed. He didn't kill. A, he didn't bring a, thir a 38. He bought an AR-15, which is designed to kill masses of people. So his original intent is definitely, in my opinion, was to kill 15 or more blacks. And, of course, he's going to plead not guilty or insanity. But the problem is that white guys got in the way. That was the problem. Now, I'm not racist. I'm real. I'm very real. If, it, if there's anything white people hate, and they hate it all, just as much as they hate blacks, is white people who are sympathetic to black causes. They really hate that. So the perception uh, is that these two white men were sympathetic, <coughs> excuse me, to black causes, so they deserve to die. They deserve to be shot. The third white man that was maimed deserved to die. He deserved to be shot. Why? Because he was sympathetic to black causes. Because they thought he was an active shooter. And they tried to stop an active shooter. But like I said, the original intent was to kill 50... Kyle Rittenhouse's original intent was to kill 15 or more blacks. That's why he went walking down there trying to look like John Wayne. He didn't have any sense. You got to understand, Kyle Rittenhouse has no sense. He's too young to have any sense. 17, 18, he still doesn't have any sense. He doesn't have any sense. He's trying to look like John Wayne, trying to look like a tough guy. And, and the truth is, John Wayne's character never would have done that. He never would have shot people for no apparent reason. I don't think. <laughs> now the Proud Boys is just a euphemism for the KKK, Ku Klux Klan. It's just a euphemism for that. It's just a euphemism for white supremacy and the KKK. Everybody knows that and Fox News knows that. Now Trump is sympathetic uh, to the Proud Boys, which you may as well say he's sympathetic uh, to the KKK. You may as well say that. It's the Proud Boys who, who uh, stormed the Capitol. Okay? Probably at uh, Trump's command, okay? Now, Trump is a despot. D-E-S-P-O-T. He's a wannabe dictator. He endorses what Kyle Rittenhouse did. Kill whites that are sympathetic to black causes. And it's so abominable and... And egregious. Two men are dead and another one is maimed. But Trump, being a despot, he's sympathetic towards that. And he endorses what Kyle Rittenhouse did, which means he's, he endorses uh, killing those two uh, white men and uh, almost killing the third one. And so I think you have issues if you vote for a man like Trump. If you vote for a despot, a... Um, Want to be dictator? You got issues. This country is just showing up, going to go to hell if you vote for somebody like him. But Kyle Rittenhouse is probably going going to go on a talk show circuit, which I don't know who's giving him that advice. He's going to go on a talk show circuit and make a fool of himself. He already said he endorses Black Lives Matter, and you know what? They told him to say that because he came with the intent of killing people who uh, Black Lives Matter protesters. He came there with the intent. And so if you believe that, I would try to find, I will find you some land in Las Vegas to sell you with furniture, okay? Because that's, a, who's telling him to tell all these stupid lies? I don't know. Um, but he's going to go on the talk show circuit, probably make a lot of money with his, he's young and he's stupid, y'all. 
you know, I want $10,000 to give this interview. He's going to go on the talk show circuit because he's young and he's stupid and he has a big mouth. Now, see, jurors can be bought and sold. Each one of those jurors probably got $350,000 from Fox News to render a not guilty verdict. Well, that is more money than they have seen in a whole lifetime. The judge probably got $650,000 from Fox News to sway the uh, courtroom in favor of the defense. That's more money than he's seen in a, lot, in a lifetime. Jurors and judges can be bought and sold. I'm telling you, I know what I know. And you don't even have to be literate to be a judge. You can come out of uh, work. You say you work for Kmart. You can come out of Kmart. And become a judge, you can be illiterate. Cause I have gone between, I have gone to court before, and I have gone between before illiterate judges can't read, stupid judges, third grade education. I have gone between them. They're the dumbest. That's why I don't like to go to court too much. Cause they're the dumbest people I've ever seen in my life. Now, like I said, you know the jurors probably got three hundred and fifty k. Or more from Fox News, the judge probably got 650k from Fox News, okay, just to render a not guilty verdict. Kyle Rittenhouse knew from day one he was going to be get a not guilty verdict. He knew from day one he was going to be acquitted. He knew that. He wasn't worried at all. Those tears you saw that was rehearsed and that was contrived. Because you gotta say he's just like any other 17 year old out here. He's dumb and stupid. Got a D plus in algebra. The teacher probably said, don't take any more algebra classes. Okay? He's dumb and stupid like any other 17 year old out here. I haven't heard any student say that he was smart. He's just a dumb student trying to get some notoriety. So he got he killed two men. And one to the third. He practiced those tears and etc. And the FBI knows he did that for the sake of theater. Okay. So therefore, Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse, he's a serial killer. He's a mass shooter. He's a spree killer. All in one. And the FBI, who has criminal psychologists, they know that he will kill again. They know that. Either somebody's going to kill him or he's going to kill again. Because all Kyle Rittenhouse is like, because he's young, he's young, dumb, and stupid. He's going to say, he's going to tell his peers, what I did to those men, I do to you. He's going to tell any girlfriend he has. If he has one, I do to you what I did to those men. I knew I, He's going to say to all of his peers, because he's young, dumb, and stupid. I knew I was going to get away with it day one. Bye.